there, I'm Louie, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a skull for my Halloween pattern bundle, which includes a bunch of these patterns like a ghost, a zombie, vampire, witch, Frankenstein, and a werewolf. And the cool thing is, all of them can be made into finger puppets. Um, yeah. So you can find this entire bundle at clubcrochet.com slash Halloween, or click the link here or in the description below. Let's get these guys out of the way. But in this video we're making this skull, of course. Now, uh, one more thing to send you to. Um, if you want a written PDF version of this pattern or a uh, to follow along in the written version, uh, the interactive written version on Club Crochet, um, visit the link in the description below right here or by going to clubcrochet.com slash skull. There you can download the free printable PDF version of this pattern. All right. In this video, I'm going to be using all worsted weight yarn for my uh, pattern, but you can make it using thread. Check that out. Um, this could be kind of a really cool earring or something like that. But in this video, I'm going to be using all worsted weight yarn. Normally, you'd be making it using wh white and black yarn, but it's kind of hard to see that in the video. So instead, I'm going to re be replacing white with yellow and black with purple, um, just because it's a little bit easier to see. Because I'm, oops, because I'm using all worsted weight yarn, I'm using a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook. And you'll need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, um, and some stuffing. All right, well, without further ado, let's get hooking. Okay, so to start, we're going to use our primary yarn. Uh, I'm going to be referring to it as yellow, of course, but in the pattern, you might be using white for this. You want to pull out uh, a pretty decent amount of it which we're going to use for various different sections in our pattern. You want to do that twice. Okay, so just pull a little bit extra of this yellow yarn and cut it off. The reason is we'll need some extra threads of this, and unless you want to start going through the middle of your yarn, um, it's best to just have them separated already. All right, so to start this pattern, we're going to do a magic loop method. You can also use the chain two method if you feel more comfortable with it. And we're going to do our magic loop. And for round one, whoop, we're going to single crochet six times into the second chain from the hook or into the magic loop. I'm of course doing the magic loop method, so we're going to just single crochet six times into the magic loop. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to tighten that up. This pattern is worked in the round, meaning that we're not going to turn around for the entire piece. We're just going to keep working in a spiral. Okay, and that's going to be the end of round one. For round two, we're going to be working into the first stitch right here. And we're going to do three single crochets into that first stitch. Okay, I'm going to be working around this tail end just to hide it in. But three single crochets into that first stitch. One, two and three, okay? Into the next stitch, we're going to be doing, doing two single crochets or an increase, okay? So we're doing two single crochets, AKA an increase into that second stitch. Into the third stitch, we're going to be just doing one single crochet and I'm gonna stop working around the tail end now. That should be enough to hide it in. Okay, into um, oh, now we want to repeat this process one more time. So into the next stitch, we want to do three single crochets. One, two, three. Then we'll do a regular increase into the next stitch. That's two single crochets. And then one single crochet into the last stitch. And that's going to be the end of round two. At the end of this round, you should have uh, 12 stitches around. Okay, so for round three, we're going to be working up from 12 stitches to 18 stitches. We're going to start by single crocheting one into the first stitch right here. Then we're going to do three increases in a row. Into the next three stitches, we're going to do an increase. So let's do an increase in the first one right here. One, two, another increase, three, four, and another increase. Five and six. Okay, so that's three increases in a row. Now we're going to do three single crochets in a row. In the next three stitches, work a single crochet. Oops. One, 
two, three. We're going to do three more increases in a row. Next three stitches and increase. One increase, two increases, and there's our third increase. Okay? And to these last two stitches, we want to do one single crochet. One single crochet in each stitch. So it's one, two. Okay. All right, and that's going to be the end of round three. You can see we're kind of creating a little bit of an oval. This is going to be the top of the skull. All right, so for round four, we're just going to work a single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Just one single crochet into each stitch around. And this should be, you know, relatively regular. After this round, uh, we're going to get a little bit uh, confusing. It might get a little bit difficult. So take your time, go slowly, um, and if you have any extra questions that I don't uh, solve by the end of the video, make sure to leave a comment down below uh, and I should be able to get back to you or maybe someone else can. All right. Um, okay, last couple right here. One and two. Okay. That's going to be the end of round four. For round five, start by single crocheting ten. We're working in both loops. We're still working in our yellow yarn. We're going to single crochet ten. Okay, so that's one, two, wait. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's make sure. Let's count them back again. There's the end of our round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do that one again. I seem to have split my yarn there. There we go. Nine. And here's going to be our 10th. Now I'm going to not finish this 10th stitch just yet. First, we're going to grab our purple yarn. And we're going to place it in between the two strands. And we're going, now we're going, going to finish up with our last stitch there. We want to pull just a little bit end of a tail there. Okay, now we want to pull this yellow yarn out a little bit and go back into the stitch, back under these two loops. So take your crochet hook, let me get a little bit closer here, we're going to go under, back into the stitch, one, two, okay, and now we want to hold down the purple yarn with your index finger and pull through with purple, okay? So basically what we're doing right now is I call it a split. We're splitting the yarn into two different pieces. Okay, We're going to start by pulling through with our primary yarn, our yellow yarn here, and pull it a little bit tighter. And for the next two stitches, we want to work only into the front loops, Okay, the loops closest to us, using this uh, yellow yarn. So we're going to do two single crochets into the front loops only. So it's one and two. Okay, now we're going to pull this loop out a little bit, go back to our purple loop, pull it a little bit tighter, all right, and we're going to be working into the back loops only, the back loops of the two stitches that you worked only in the front loops. We're going to do a single crochet into both those back loops. I'm going to work around this tail end of this purple yarn to hide it in just for the first stitch. We can pull it aside now. And into the second one, we're going to work into that back loop and just do another single crochet. Okay. Now we want to pull a decent amount of this purple yarn out and cut the end. And we can just pull it all the way through. Okay. 
So you want like a somewhat long end like that. We're going to go back to our yellow loop. Into the next stitch, we want to work into both loops now. We finished our split. We want to work into both loops and do a single crochet and work around this purple yarn to hide it in. Boom. We only want to do that for the first stitch though. Okay, just hide it in with the first stitch and then pull it to the side. Now we want to work two more single crochets in both loops with this yellow yarn. One and two. But we want to do our split again after our first two. Okay, so let me just recap really quick. We did 10 single crochets. We did our split. Into the front loops, we did two single crochets in yellow. And then we did into the back loops, two single crochets in purple. Then we came back to our yellow yarn. We worked into both loops for three stitches in our yellow yarn. Now we're going to do our split again. We're going to single crochet around this purple yarn for the first stitch right there. We're going to pull that yellow yarn out, go back into the stitch, okay, and then pull through with our purple yarn. Okay, we're going to pull that loop out a little bit, go back to our yellow yarn, and working into the front loops of the next two stitches, work a single crochet in our yellow yarn. One, two. Okay, pull that loop out, go back to our purple yarn. Working in the back loops only, we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches in our purple yarn. Okay, so working in the back loops now. One, Two. Now we can pull this purple yarn through, okay, go back to our yellow loop, and working into both loops of the next stitch, this is our final stitch here, we're going to work around this purple yarn and we're doing a single crochet into both loops of the last stitch in our round. We can cut this purple yarn now, and that will be the end of around there. Okay, so now we're on round six. Here, let's just show you what we did in round five on the inside. You can see these purple parts are the inside uh, loops where we worked into the back loops there. Okay, just a quick look over. Okay, so for round six, we are going to start by single crocheting nine into both loops. And we're working in our um, primary color, in my case, yellow. Now I'm actually running a little bit low on our yellow yarn here, so I'm going to change to a new ball of yarn because I'm running a little low. And obviously you probably won't have to do this because you've thought ahead. <laughs> I just have not. There we go. I'm going to cut our yellow yarn. Okay. Now we have a bunch more. We're going to be good. Uh, I'm also going to cut this inside tail because it's distracting me. Throw that to the side. Okay. So we want to do nine single crochets. Let's see. Where have we done? Did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here is going to be our ninth. Now, in working in the back loop only of the next stitch, we want to do one more single crochet in our yellow, but working in the back loop only. And now we want to come back to our purple yarn. And we want to change to purple. Working into both loops of our purple stitches from the last round. Okay, so we're going to pull this apart a little bit. I'm going to pull this loop out. I'm going to work into those purple stitches. Okay. And now we can pull this tight, this loop tighter again. So I got my loop out to get my crochet hook into those purple stitches. We're going to single crochet into the next two purple stitches using this purple yarn. I'm working around our tail end just to hide it in. 
one. Oh, okay, so you want to work two, and then you want to change back to our yellow. Okay, there we go. Working our purple stitches into the purple stitches from the previous round, do two purple stitches. Okay, now we're back to yellow. Now we're going to pull this purple yarn to the side. We'll come back to it in just a second. Into the next three stitches, working into the yellow loops from our previous round, we're going to work a single crochet into the next three. Okay, so one, working in the yellow stitches, two, and three. Now we're going to change back to our purple yarn, pull the loop out a little bit, pull the yellow yarn to the side, and we're going to take our crochet hook and get it into those purple stitches from the previous round again. There we go. See? And we'll just we'll just do a single crochet using our purple into those next two purple stitches. I'm not going to work around the yellow because I don't want to bleed it through for the first stitch. I'm going to pull that tighter. We're going to do one single crochet and into the next do another single crochet. We're going to change back to our yellow yarn. Okay. There we go. Now into our last stitch here. It's going to be this yellow stitch. We want to work our yellow yarn and work into that last stitch. Okay, and that is going to be the end of that round. You can see how our skull is starting to form. See our yellow yarn there? All right. Oh, I, um, I messed that up. We actually want to work into the back loop only for that last stitch. So I'm going to pull that last yellow stitch out. I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. We're going to work into the back loop only in that last yellow stitch right there. That's going to be used for sewing uh, some detail on at the end. Okay, and that's going to be the end of that round. Let me do an overview again of what we did in this round. We did nine single crochets working in both loops. Okay, then we did one single crochet, we're using our yellow yarn into the back loop. We changed to our purple yarn, we worked into the purple stitches from the previous round and did two single crochets using purple yarn. Then we changed back to our yellow yarn. We worked into both loops of the next three stitches and worked a single crochet using our yellow yarn. We changed back to our purple yarn, worked into the purple stitches from the previous round, and did two single crochets in our purple yarn. Then we changed back to our yellow yarn, worked into the back loop only of the next stitch, and did a single crochet in our yellow yarn. And that's going to be the end of round six. For round seven, we're going to start by working 10 single crochets using our yellow yarn. I'm going to cut this purple end here. We're going to come back to it off after our 10 stitches in yellow. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here's our tenth. We're going to stop right there, grab our purple yarn and place it in between, and we're going to pull through with our yellow yarn. Okay. Into the next two stitches, we want to work into, um, in half purple, half yellow stitches. So we pulled through with the yellow. We want to change over so that blue is on top. Go into the next stitch, pull through with our purple yarn, switch back over to yellow by twisting it under, and pull through with our yellow yarn. Okay, we're going to do that again. We're going to switch over so that purple is on top, go into the next stitch, pull through with your purple yarn, switch back over to your yellow yarn, and pull through two loops with our yellow yarn. Okay. Now we're going to work into both loops of the next stitch and do one single crochet in yellow. Okay, but pull through with purple. Pull through these two loops 
with our purple yarn. Boom. Okay. Now into the next stitch, we're going to work into the back loops only. We're going to do a single crochet in purple yarn into the back loops only. We're going to work around this yellow yarn for that stitch. Okay. Now we're going to change back over to yellow. Work into both loops, we're going to do a yellow stitch. We're going to pull through with yellow. Okay. Into the next two stitches, we want to work half purple, half yellow. So we're going to switch back over so our purple is on top. Go into the next stitch, pull through with purple. Switch back over to yellow and pull through the two loops with yellow. And do that one more time purple on top, into the next stitch and pull through with purple, and then pull through both loops with yellow. Okay. Into this very last stitch, we're going to work around this purple end, and we're going to do a single crochet into both loops using our yellow yarn. Okay. Now we can cut the purple, pull it all the way out. And that's going to be the end of round seven. We're almost we're almost at the end here. I think the the probably the most difficult parts are done. You can see how the skull is starting to form. Okay? All right. For round eight, we're going to start by doing a single crochet into the next stitch. We're going to work in yellow. And then we're going to do an invisible decrease in the next. Okay, so single crochet, then an invisible decrease. And we're going to repeat that three times total. So let's do it again. We're going to do another single crochet and then an invisible decrease. Invisible decrease, by the way, if you didn't know, you're working into the front loops only of the next two stitches. So take your crochet hook, go into those two front loops, and then work a single crochet. Okay, one more repeat of that. We're doing a single crochet and then an invisible decrease. Okay. All right. We're going to do one more single crochet into the next stitch, into both loops. And then working in the back loops only, we're going to do a single crochet. We're still working in our yellow. Now in the next two loops, working into both loops, we're going to do a single crochet, working into both loops. Okay. Now, before we finish up this second single crochet, we want to go back to our purple yarn. This is going to be the last color changes. We're going to pull through with our yellow yarn. And like we did on the eye here, we want to do half color changes where the bottom half is purple and the top half is yellow. So we're going to pull so the purple is on top, go into the next stitch and pull through with purple. Then switch back over to yellow and pull through two with yellow. Okay, we want to do two of those. I'm working in both loops now. Do another one, switch back over to purple, go into the next stitch, pull through with purple, switch back to yellow, and pull through two with yellow. Okay. See, so you can see that's we're making the nose there. Okay, now it's going to be yellow for the rest of this pattern. Into the next stitch, we're going to work into both loops and make a yellow stitch. Okay. Then we're going to do, actually, we're going to do that again. Oh, I'm sorry. We did one stitch in both loops, and the next two, the last two single crochets, are going to be into the back loops only. Okay? So I'll go over that round again, just explaining exactly what we did. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go through it again. For this round, we did a single crochet, then an invisible decrease. A single crochet, then an invisible decrease. A single crochet, then an invisible decrease. So that's three repeats of that single crochet, then invisible decrease. Then we worked into both loops. We did another single crochet. We worked into the back loop only and did a single crochet. We worked into both loops and did two single crochets in yellow. Now is when we started doing the color changes. We did 
two half color changes where the top half was yellow and the bottom half was purple, working into both loops for two stitches. One, two. We worked into both loops for a single crochet, and then we worked into back uh, using yellow, and then we worked into the back loops only for the next two stitches using yellow yarn and did a single crochet in the last two. Okay, and we're done with our purple yarn. Our color changes are over, and in my opinion, the most difficult parts of this pattern are finished. Okay, <clears throat> for round nine, we're going to start by doing three decreases. Now, when I say decreases, I don't mean invisible decreases. Uh, you can use invisible decreases, but I like using a stitch called the sharp decrease. So to do that, we're going to go into the next two stitches and pull a loop through. So loop through the next stitch like we're doing a regular single cro crochet, then into the stitch after that, pull through another loop, and pull that second loop through the two on the hook. Okay? That's going to be a sharp decrease. Let's do that again. Sharp decrease. Pull through, and then into the next stitch, pull another loop through, and pull that second loop through the two on the hook. We're doing three decreases in a row. So there's one, two, let's do another sharp decrease. Pull a loop through, then into the next stitch, pull another loop through, and pull that second loop through the two on the hook. Okay. okay so it's really pulling it in now. Okay, into the next stitch, after your three decreases, we're going to do just a regular single crochet, but we're not going to finish that up yet. We're going to grab our extra yellow yarn here, and we're going to do another split, but using two strands of yellow yarn instead now. Okay, so we're going to pull through with our second yarn strand of yellow yarn, pull that loop out, go back into the stitches, one and two, and pull through with another strand of yellow yarn. Okay, doesn't matter which one you work with here. We're going to start with our first strand of yellow yarn and into the next eight stitches, into the working into the front loops only, meaning the loops closest to you, we're going to do a single crochet in the next eight stitches. Okay, so one, two, There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, and here is our eighth. Okay, I'm going to pull that loop out a little bit so it doesn't get lost. Tuck that little tail end here in there. And we're going to work in using our second yellow yarn here. Okay. Now we're going to open this up a little bit. And in the next eight back loops, we're going to work with this second strand of yellow yarn. Now, here's the trick. I'm going to pull that loop out actually again. We've got to go back and count our eight stitches so we can get into the exact same stitch that we need to. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Open this up a little bit more. There's our eighth back loop. Okay, you see it right there? That's our eighth back loop. So we're going to take our crochet hook, get into that eighth back loop, get our crochet hook into that eighth back loop. Okay, so into the next eight back loops, we'll pull that loop tighter we're going to do a decrease. So we're going to do four decreases in a row, working in those back loops only. And remember that sharp decrease. We're going to pull a loop through, then we're going to go into the next back loop, pull a second loop through, and pull that second loop through the two on the hook. Okay? Let's do it two more times. Back loop, pull through, pull through, Boom, there's our second decrease. Okay, two more back loop decreases. Pull through, pull through, and pull that second one through the two on the hook. And here's our last one. We're gonna pull through, oops, pull through, and pull that second one through the two. Okay, 
Now we can cut this second yellow yarn and pull it just all the way through. Okay. Now before we continue, I'm going to use this end to fill that skull in a little bit more. Before we continue, we want to grab our second strand, extra strand of yellow yarn here, and we want to do a little bit of embroidery. So we want to take a darning needle. I have these pretty neat curved darning needles here. And thread a yellow strand on that darning needle. Okay. And we're going to work, we're going to start by coming around from um, the corner right here of the eye. See where that back loop is? That's why we did these back loops is because we're working around them. So we're going to come out right under that back loop like so. And pull that stitch almost all the way through. We're going to go around the top of this back loop next to the eye. Around the top of that and go into the stitch right there. And we're going to come out all the way on the other side right here, okay? Right above the eye, the other side of the eye. Pull that kind of tight. Okay. Now we're going to work around this back loop on the other eye, right here. Down and around this bottom back loop right here, okay? Go into the stitch to the left of that, and we're going to come up through the corner of the nose right there. Okay, if you see how, what we're doing, we're creating a little bit of bridges on the, on the eyes there. Okay. Now we're going to go up and around this back loop at the top of the nose. Okay, so up and around this back loop at the top of the nose. and then back down through the left corner of the nose right there. Okay, so that's just gonna add a little bit more detail, a little bit more um, uh, definition to your skull. Now we're gonna pull this thread out. We're gonna take these two ends and just double knot them on the inside. Okay, cut the ends loose. All right, there we go. Now let's get back to crocheting. You can see our skull is pretty much nearly finished. It looks really um, detailed and defined. So we're gonna take our crochet hook, go back into this back loop here. And now the trick is we wanna work around this tail end and we want to do two decreases sharp decreases we want to work around this tail so we're going to take our crochet hook we're going to go into the both loops of the next two stitches and pull a loop through okay and what I'm going to do here just to just to lock it in is I'm just going to twist it around that thread just once like that okay see so I made like kind of a, a knot now we're going to go into the next back loop or into the next stitch. Pull through with our long end. And then pull through two with that long end. Okay? Now I'm going to take this tail end before we finish this up. I'm going to pull this loop out really quick cuz I want to use the back of my crochet hook to tuck that little tail end back into the yarn just so we don't get distracted with it. In our very last stitch, we want to do one more decrease. Okay, so go into the two, next two stitches, pull a loop through, next stitch, pull our second loop through, and pull these two loops through to finish up that last decrease.
Now to finish this up, very end, we're going to cut the end and pull that loop through, all the way through. Now, we want to take some stuffing. You don't need very much. And I'm going to use the back end of my crochet hook because um, this crochet hook is actually really grippy and it's very easy. You can use a the eraser end of a pencil is also pretty useful here. And like I said, you don't need too much. In fact, you want to be careful not to stuff it with too much yarn, or stuffing rather. Okay, so I'm opening up this, the teeth there. So you can see these six stitches on the inside there. There should be six stitches around. And I'll, I'll get in close really quick to show you those six stitches for where we're going to sew it on. Okay. All right, Let's add, I'm gonna add just a little bit more stuffing. All right. Okay, so we wanna take, thread this tail end here, and we're gonna sew this closed. Now, I'm gonna open that teeth up again and get in close, and I'll show you where our six stitches are. Okay, so we're gonna count back from where this, this uh, is coming out. So we're gonna go one, two, and then we're gonna coming to the inside here. Three, four, five, and here's six, okay? So we wanna use those six stitches to sew it together. What we're gonna do is we're gonna count up three. So from this inside one, we got one, two, three. Go into that and come out from where this last stitch uh, finished up right there. Okay, pull it somewhat tight, but you know, you don't need to pull it too tight. Now we wanna go in through the next stitch over. Okay, so there's where we went down. We wanna go down through the next one and come out through our one, our first stitch right there. And we're gonna pull that tight. Okay. Now we're going to go down through the next stitch over. It's kind of hard to see. It's under, it's under those ones. So if you just find where you went down through the last bit and go down through the next stitch over, and you want to come back out through the stitch after this one right there. We're going to pull all that tight. And to finish up, we're going to go through this end right there. We're going to go straight down through the top, come out somewhere through the back. Okay, make sure those teeth are doing their teethy thing. And we're going to come back down and come out through the butt end right here. Pull it tight and cut the end. And voila, the most difficult pattern I've ever created a skull. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you completed this pattern, please, please let me know. I know how difficult this pattern is. Um, I Very few people actually get to complete it all because it's probably the most difficult pattern I've ever created. So if you have finished this pattern, please let me know. Post a picture on social media. Tag me in it. I'm at Louis Loops, or you can tag Club Crochet at um, it's at club.crochet. Um, you can also use the hashtag, hashtag club crochet. Um, just show me this skull. I want to see. I want to see if you finished it up. Um, thank you again so much for watching. If you want to check out those Halloween patterns, um, go to clubcrochet.com slash Halloween. Thanks again for watching. Um, check out more of my videos. You can subscribe down below. Click uh, push notifications so you don't miss it when I go live. Um, all right. Well, pasta la pizza and happy hooking. Mwahahaha! <laughs>